Hello guys, so I hope you are doing well today. So the very interesting thing that we're going to look at today is attack simulation. This is how to equip your users to know how hackers actually act and prevent your users from falling prey of hackers, right? So we are going just straight to Microsoft Defender. Of course, you know how to get there from here. You just click on security and you see yourself in Microsoft Defender, right? So what you do, if you scroll down here, you will see something around here that is attack simulation training. So if you come to attack simulation training, you click on simulation and then when this comes, the next thing you do is you click on launch a simulation. So if that loads, then you choose the option you want to use. So select the social engineering technique you want to use with this simulation. We, we've created this for the MITRE attack framework. Depending on your selection, you'll be able to use the certain type of payload. So the payload I want to use is the credential harvest, which is one of the most common phishing issues that we have, right? So we can just choose this and then go to next. And then simulation name, I just want to call it, um, we just call it February simulation okay so we just call it february simulation and then we come down to this place there's only for description we just do next then we'll have a lot of payloads that we can use we have the voice from uh, Pauline, marshall black friday all of these but i want us to create our own payload you can use actually all these ones are very very useful depending on your use case right so you can do next and then excuse me i'm going to pick a payload and I don't have one, I want to create one from the scratch just to make it work very well for me. So when you come to this place, I'm going to use email, uh, to, you know, the option I want to use. Then coming here, I'm using Credential Harvest, right? So if I'm using Credential Harvest, I can go to next and then I give my payload a name. I can give it um, February payload. Okay. Then I don't need to, it's not compulsory for me to give it a description. I can call it. Now here's where you select what you want to do. What is my domain first of all? this is my domain user right so that means this is my domain for example i want to spoof i want to spoof mod mod uh i want to spoof this guy and his email address let's see what it is his email address is um, admin at this dot microsoft.com fine so i'm coming here to spoof the guy so from i can even call it mod admin so that's bearing the exact name then the email address i'm just going to put maybe admin so instead of this i i'm going to make it capsule it small letter l right okay so that's that then the subject of the email can just be change password okay change password then we can just come here then what is the phishing link that we want to use we need to select the link that we want to use let's just quickly use this first one here if we click on it here we click here and then we'll come here to theme if we want to change the theme you can decide to say, okay, I want to use account activation theme, then all of these you can choose as you prefer. But one thing that's important, all these are not uh, compulsory, but one thing that's compulsory is you have to choose the language you want to use for your payload. So I'm going to use English. So um, this is email, so it's just telling me to import an email or paste the code here, right? So I'm just going to type an email here. I'm just going to say, yeah, or, or kindly click on the link to make sure you change your password urgently to keep to keep our system secure best regards mod admin it now, the next thing we want to do is this link here. We need to add the phishing link. I just want to confirm that that should be the link that they want to click to take them to where they're going to supply their credentials. Okay. So we do next. So we've been able to just click on next. We've been able to create a payload already. So we click on submit. So the payload is going to be set now. So the next thing we want to do is to use the payload to create a simulation. Okay. So I'm just going to hold on for this. Okay. So that's done. So we're going to click on done. The payload is ready. So uh, we have the non payload now. So I'm just going to pick it, February payload, and do next. It's saying include only specific people. So I'm just going to add users, um, mod, the user that perpetrating, mod admin, mod admin, add, add another user, add them. More that has been added, Adele has been added. So let's just do next. 
to the medical team. So we're just going to do next. I recommend that you assign the training to them. Yeah, let's just go on. And then landing page URL. You can decide to give it a URL. Let's just say HTTP S double forward slash the colon double forward slash. So when the phishing is done, I just want them to end up here. Do you want to deliver a notification? Do not deliver a notification. Proceed. I just do next. Just want to keep it very simple. So do next, and then I'll hit on submit. So when I do this, Adele is going to get an email. Mother is going to also get an email to his mailbox. Okay. So that's done. You can do done. And then we'll be expecting that email to get delivered to both Adele and MOD. Let's just go to MOD's mailbox and see. Remember, MOD is the one being spoofed. Okay, so the email is yet to come. Let's give it a refresh. Okay, so let's try to sign in as Adele. Let's see if she has got the email already. Okay, that's Adele signing in. Adele putting her password. So this is Adele navigating the first time signing in. And she's just going to click on Outlook. Okay, so you can see that she's got the email already. So if she clicks on it, it shows that it is coming from Mod Admin, the sender, and Mod Admin never sent her email, right? Because it was actually what the hacker could do, right? So, but this is actually a simulation to show you how it can appear as though your email is coming from a legitimate source. Look at it. It is coming from Mod. If you remember, we have this capsule letter I not mod admin for this is small letter l but if you're not conscious you don't know you just go and hit on the link please think before you click because it's going to take this user now to a page that looks like the microsoft sign-in page but what do you have on the url here you have www.bankmenia.fr but it's appearing like the microsoft sign-in page and whatever credential you enter here it is going to pass through but the hacker the target who does not know would actually supply her correct email address and click on next and the hacker has got that email address and you put in a password the password that she actually uses and then submit this and the hacker is going to get it by this own, his own end that way right and because the landing page of office.com and Adele signs in here and feels that oh nothing happens meanwhile he has supplied this credential to that malicious hacker who had hidden you know, under the Microsoft sign-in page here to have Adele supply her credentials. So if we also go to Mod Admin's mailbox, we should see that email now drop. Otherwise, it will just take a while. And then you're also going to see it. So the essence of this video is to let you know that, yeah, this is it here in Mod Admin's end. You can see that the hacker has also sent the email to the re-owner who was spoofed. I mean, the re-owner of that um, mailbox. So if you want to click anything that comes that resembles what looks like a link, make sure that you are sure of what you are clicking. So that is the essence of this short demo and I hope that this makes sense to you. If you have questions, you can ask down in the comment section. Thank you very much for your time.